everything you wanted to know about life insurance, but were afraid to ask. Joining us today is insurance advisor, Annie Belanger, to walk us through a segment on Insurance 101. Annie, welcome to the show. Hi, Sybil. Thank you for having me. So, Annie, why do people need insurance in the first place? Ah, for all kinds of reasons. Through every stage of life, we have insurance needs and they evolve over time. And it's really important to have proper financial protection. And what types of protection do people need it for? Give us a few examples. So let's say that you're a young couple and you're starting out in life, you buy your first home. Typically, you will want to have your mortgage insured to make sure that should anything happen, uh, that mortgage could be paid off and no, not leave any debts to your, uh, to your heirs or your spouse. And that would be a very responsible thing for people to do, Annie. What are some other things people need to protect against? When you have dependents, the moment you have a family and little ones to take care of, you want to make sure that should anything happen again, you have enough financial resources to make sure the family can keep its lifestyle throughout the years. So there's a formula for that that I like to use. It's in two sections. The first section is the debts. We want to make sure that we cover all of the immediate debts you want to pay off at debt the mortgage, any credit cards, taxes, uh, funeral expenses. So that gives you a total amount that you want to include in your protection. The second uh, uh, side of it is the income replacement. So you need to calculate how many years will you have those dependents and then how much do you want to provide every year. Then you factor in uh, interest rates, inflation, you come out with uh, an amount of capital, you add it to, to the one for the debt repayment, and then you have your total insurance need figured out. So you need insurance to protect your family, your loved ones in the case of hardship. Now you've calculated how much you need. What are the options? What type of insurance can people buy? So you have all kinds of products that exist out there depending on your budget, uh, how long you want the insurance for. So if you want economical product, you can look at term insurance. Uh, you can have five years, 10 years, 20, 30. Uh, there's a whole range. Uh, so that provides a lot of coverage for a small premium. Uh, but it's like own, it's like renting your insurance, if you will, because every uh, five years or 10 years, depending on what you chose, your premiums will go up. But that's okay because if you align it if you, with your mortgage uh, payment, for example, and you want your mortgage paid off in 20 years, you buy a term 20 years and it expires when the mortgage is paid. So off you go, uh, you were covered and uh, you were protected. Permanent insurance is an insurance that you actually own through your life uh, that the company will pay no matter when you pass away. But um, it's a little more expensive, obviously, because they cover for a long period. But it's a great uh, tool for additional savings and tax sheltering. And, you know, when, you, when it comes to permanent insurance the younger the better to buy it to keep your premiums low and locked in for life. What do people need to know about being insurable? The, the sooner you get coverage, the better it is because life has a way of throwing bad surprises at you. And if you have a serious uh, health situation, you may be uh, declined for coverage or rated. So you have to look at this early on and you can start with the term product and as Time goes by and you have more financial resources, look into converting uh, small portions along the way into permanent to make sure that at the end of the day, you will have a product that will pay uh, when it's required. So if that's the case, you buy term because it's cheaper, and then a few years down the road, you can afford a little more. Do you have to be reinsurable? Do you need to go through any medical checks at that point in time? No, that's the great thing because term products have what we call a conversion privilege at the original medical con uh, condition you were approved at. So even if your health is not as good as it used to be, if you were approved 
on standard rates originally, that will carry over. And that's really, really profitable when you can take advantage of that benefit. Well, Annie, thank you. Our viewers can go to thewealthylife.com and check out our insurance needs calculator. It's been a pleasure having you with us today. Thank you so much.